It was very important for us to show our respect to him and his family and his fellow officers for us to be able to come out here and take five minutes of our day to stand there with our hand over our heart. And there were many other people up and down the road. Cars were stopped everywhere. And I didn't know this young man, but from what I understand, he was one of the best. Those are just a couple of comments from residents in the community following the death of Casey police officer Drew Barr, who was shot and killed in the line of duty yesterday. Outside the Casey Police Department today, his patrol car turned into a memorial. Flowers, notes, and gifts all left by local law enforcement and community residents, including longtime Casey resident Tammy Ridgeway. Hope and pray that his family will have the strength and courage to get through this, knowing that he, he was a wonderful person and he's lying on the wings of angels right now. Behind Barr's car lies a guest book filled with hundreds of messages and prayers to his family. KC Police Chief Chris Cowan says that Barr died after he responded to a domestic call on Rossmore Drive with two other officers. Chief says when the officers got there, they found someone outside the home, but Cowan says they do not know how that person was connected to the situation. They say they only know what happened next. Officers responded and encountered a male individual in the front yard. They made contact with the individual. As they were making contact with the individual, uh, the male individual was in the front yard of the home. Uh, there were shots that came from inside the house. One of those shots struck and killed Officer Drew Barr. Cowan says the suspect, 36-year-old Austin Henderson, took his own life. And around the Midlands now, we're seeing all kinds of tributes for Officer Barr, including people stopping for the procession today from the coroner's office to the funeral home. Dozens of Lexington County residents and employees lined West Hospital Drive and Sunset Boulevard during that procession. And not only did employees from nearby businesses come out to pay their respects, so did patients at the Lexington Medical Center. We knew that the procession was supposed to be coming by sometime today. And as seeing the traffic stopped, I just wanted to stop and show my support, you know, for the men and women of law enforcement. Several law enforcement agencies played a part in today's procession. On Twitter late today, the governor said he and his wife are praying for the family of Officer Barr and Casey police during this tragic time. He added that Barr's dedication in the face of danger will never be forgotten. If you would like to offer your condolences, you can send a card to the Casey Police Department. They're located on 12th Street. You can make a donation to the Casey Public Safety Foundation in honor of Officer Barr. You can do so at the same address. Barr's funeral, meanwhile, will take place later this week. A visitation will take place Thursday afternoon from 3 until 445 at Batesburg Leesville High School. That will be followed by his memorial service at 5 o'clock. Then a private graveside service will be held immediately following that memorial service. Be sure to stay with News 19. We will update you as more details on this terrible story become available both on air and online at WLTX.com. You can also find updates to this story on the free News 19 mobile app.